What's up, YouTube? Last week, I know things got a little serious talking about my threatened miscarriage and what a shitty situation that was. So this week, I just wanted to do what happened the month after that because that's just as important. Like, what am I supposed to expect? I had no idea that I would be bleeding for as long as I did. Just these are important details that women everywhere should know and not wait for a friend or some random YouTuber to tell you about. I followed up with my doctor on Monday like the ER told me to and she really just said continue your pelvic rest and doing whatever you're doing, get rest and keep your appointment for tomorrow because I had a Tuesday appointment. So I did that and we went and there was still a heartbeat so all was well and everybody's happy except I was still bleeding. Sitting and standing made the cramping worse, so I pretty much put myself in bed even though the ER doctor said, eh, you don't have to be on bed rest, but dudes, like, for real, getting out of bed and being up hurt so bad, so I just stayed in bed. I had to fold a little bit of laundry because, you know, Michael was pulling all the weight, but he does that all the time anyway, so it's nothing new. My OB put me on a modified bed rest because I have to get out of bed to feed Michael. I mean, I have a three-year-old that I have to take care of, and he's a pretty large three-year-old. At 44 pounds, I was no longer allowed to pick him up. So, nothing over 40 pounds, no jarring motions, no sex, no orgasms, pretty much nothing in your vagina, and no gym which is still killing me. I really, really hope that tomorrow when we go to the doctor, I am allowed to pump some iron at least a little bit to get some of my muscle tone back because I'm starting to get the flap on my arms, man. That's just not okay. I spotted old blood until about August 24th, which is slightly over a month of spotting, which I guess if I would have been a little more active, it, gravity would have helped and the blood would have evacuated my nether regions a little bit quicker, but you know, pain, I do not want any more pain. And then when I went to my ultrasound, uh, I believe earlier this week, it was my anatomy ultrasound, 18 weeks and 5 days to be exact. I was told that they found another um, sac, subchorionic bleed or hemorrhage, one of those, in my uterus down by my cervix, so I am now kind of like, hmm, how do I feel about that? You know, like that still kind of sucks. Am I just going to whoosh at getting my hair done at Kroger when I go to Meyer? Am I going to be dropping Michael off at school? Like, do I have to wear pads all the time? Really? Because they are so thick, you guys. Like, I hate wearing pads. If I never see another pad in my life again, I will be okay with it. The tech actually told me that I'll probably have to come back in at 24 weeks for another ultrasound just to measure the bleed to see if it's shrinking or like what is going on, it's just something they want to monitor I guess, which I appreciate. I'm still now kind of like my discharge is a little browny, if that helps you guys at all. Um, so if you are experiencing the same thing, I guess just know that black panties are your best friend. Panty liners are super awesome, and it will eventually end after you have it, right? And you pretty much bleed a little bit after that, and then you should be all done and have your bundle of baby in your arms in dark circles because that's what comes with the baby. Okay, so I am just rambling. So next week we are going to have fun stuff to talk about. Like, I don't know, but fun stuff to talk about. Leave helpful and encouraging comments down below, not in my vagina, in the comment box. 
you have anything worthwhile to say and I will see you next week. Goodbye.